Yoga, massages and art therapy were just a few of the things on offer at a local pampering session on Wednesday. Aimed at providing parent carers with a much needed break, it was an opportunity for all those looking after children with additional needs to meet, share experiences and relax. When you're a parent carer or any kind of carer you need a break, you can't keep working at the same level all the time because it is pretty much 24-7 even when a child is at school or with another carer you are constantly worried there's no getting away from it and actually sometimes you just need something to distract you um, and to take away some of the some of the difficulties. Held as part of National Carers Week the wider aim was to recognise all that carers do and to highlight the importance of their work. If um, family members and other carers didn't do that job, there would be a lot of vulnerable people, a lot of people that actually couldn't cope in this society and actually probably would be institutionalised um, or have to, have to live in, in other areas like that. If there weren't carers doing it because they loved that person, it would all go to pieces, basically. And for one local parent carer, the pampering session provided her with a much needed break from her full-time role of looking after her son who has autism and ADHD. It's just nice to go somewhere where there's other people that understand what you, uh, what, as a parent, what you're going through so you can uh, mingle and speak to people who are also carers, understand how tiring it is and understand what, you know, how emotional draining it is as well. All parents need a break. People need that, that respite to be able to, to um, help their child go, you know, when they go back into that environment. The pampering activities were all organised by Pinpoint, a local charity that supports, involves and informs parents of children with additional needs in Cambridgeshire. We have groups or we talk to parents on the phone or we enable parents to meet each other to support each other. Um, we then have information, so we have an extensive website or we signpost parents to the right services that they're looking for. Um, and then in terms of involvement, we get parents involved in improving services for families being a parent of a child with a disability or an additional need is, a, is an emotional roller coaster. It can be very difficult and also the amount of information they can give each other to help is, um, makes a considerable difference in their, to their lives. But it's not just about being pampered. Support groups are in place to offer guidance and advice for parent carers. They're really supportive of parents because they are parents of children with similar issues. And um, this group in particular, I like coming to because, like I said, it's it's about gathering information, it's talking to other parents. You realise you're not alone. You're in this not in this not just isolated in your own little world as you end up getting. <laughs> um, it's really good because you find there are other people who have the same issues uh, with older children or younger children or, uh, you know, or they've been through the same experiences I've been through and they have the same, same problem. These support groups and pampering sessions give carers a chance to take a break from their care roles. But what is life like for them outside of this space? For me, I find it's really exhausting. I can't work. I have a really intelligent daughter, and, but her responses aren't consistent to things. So one day she's perfectly fine with something. The next day it's completely overwhelmed her. She can't cope with it and goes into a three-hour meltdown. So, so it's like living with somebody who's constantly moving the goalposts on you because of what she's experienced during the day. Deborah has been caring for her daughter who suffers with autism for 18 years and has been visiting the support groups for four years and takes comfort in receiving any advice and information they offer. This is Katura Sestine for That's TV.